Hello brothers and sisters, finally, this is now the last chapter of the book of Exodus, the chapter 40. Wow, I made it. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, um, setting up and dedicating the tent of the Lord's presence. The Lord said to Moses, On the first day of the first month, set up the tent of the Lord's presence. Place it, place in it the covenant box containing the Ten Commandments and put the curtain in front of it. Bring in the table and place the equipment on it. Also bring in the lamps and set up the lamps in it. Put the gold altar for burning incense in front of the covenant box and hang the curtain at the entrance of the tent. Put in front of the tent the altar for burning offerings. Put the wash basin between the tent and the altar and fill it with water. Put up the surrounding bush and hang the curtain at its entrance. Then dedicate the tent and all its equipment by anointing it with a sacred oil. And it will be holy. Next. Dedicate the altar and all its equipment by anointing it, and it will be completely holy. Also dedicate the wash basin and its base in the same way. Bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance of the tent, and have them take a ritual bath. Dress Aaron in the priestly garments, anoint him, and in the way consecrate him so that he can serve me as priest. Bring his sons and put the shirts to them. Then anoint them just as you anointed their father so that they can serve me as priests, anointing will make them priests for all time to come. Moses did everything just as the Lord had commanded, so on the first day of the first month of the second year, after, after they left Egypt, the tent of the Lord's presence was set up. Moses put down his face and set up frames, attached his crossbars, and put up his posts. He spread out the covering over the tent and put the outer covering over it. Just as the Lord had commanded, then he took the two stone tablets and put them in the covenant box. He put the poles and the rings in the box and put the lid in it. Then he put the box in the tent and hung up the curtain. In this way, he screened off the covenant box. Just as the Lord had Put the table in the tent on the north side, also the curtain, and place his bread offered to the Lord. Just as the Lord commanded, put the lambson in the tent on the south side, opposite the table, and there in the Lord's presence, he lit the lamps, just as the Lord had commanded. He put the gold altar in the tent in front of the curtain, and burned the sweet smelling incense, just as the Lord had commanded. He hung the curtain at the entrance of the tent. And there, in front of the garden, he placed the altar for burning offerings. On it, he sacrificed, he sacrificed the burnt offering and the grain offering, just as the Lord had commanded. He put the wash basin between the tent and the altar and filled it with water. Moses, Aaron, and his sons washed their hands and their feet there. Whenever they went into the tent, or the altar, just as the Lord did. Moses set up the enclosure around the tent and the altar and hung the curtain at the entrance of the enclosure. So he finished all the work. A cloud over the tent of the Lord's presence. Then the cloud covered the tent and the dazzling light of the Lord's presence filled it. Because of this, Moses could not go into the tent then the Israelites moved their camp to another place only when the cloud lifted from the tent. They did not move the camp. During all their wanderings, they could see the cloud of the Lord's presence over the tent during the day and a fire burning about it during the night. Okay, yes, I made it. Thank you, Lord. So, brothers and sisters, I had finished reading the whole book of Exodus. So, from chapter 1 to chapter 
support here. Uh, here, chapter 40. So, thank you Lord God uh, for giving me the courage, for giving me the energy, for enlightening me to read the whole story of Exodus. So, <clears throat> as I have read, say, go through chapters, pages, so it is like just, uh, I was, I was in their past, in the story of Exodus. So, kailangan na natin talaga mga kapatid na magbasa at magbasa para magpindihan po natin po ano ba talaga ang nangyari nung nakaraan nung si Jesus ay dito pa nung, nung si Jesus ay nakausap pa nila so sana no tayo nakausap din natin ang Panginoon okay, so grabe, grabe siguro ang feelings so this is my first complete reading because I made it, I made it a point that uh, in a month, because I started January 1. So, even if how many chapters are there, so, um, I made it a point that I, I could finish it. The, the one, the one story of the book I could finish in one month. And God has given me the power, the, the grace, the gift to finish it. Although it is not every day, but then the whole chapter, all the chapters in, in the whole the whole story, I make it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So na lang po tayo sa Santo. Heavenly Father, we are indeed thankful for the many blessings and the many graces that you have bestowed in us in the gift of life. Lord God, forgive our sins. You know that we are so sinful and we are asking your forgiveness, your mercy to forgive our sins and help us to stand, to get up and stand and continue our journey with you. Thank you so much for the people around me, for my family, for my organization, and for, and for all for my fellow men. And I hope, Lord, that I can still read uh, another story, another book in the Bible. And please help me and give me the grace, more grace, to fulfill because there is no other uh, better knowledge than reading the Bible. Okay. So thank you so much guys for having with me. Uh, although hindi pa ganun talaga ka, ka bihasa ako sa pagbansa while, while facing the video. But then Hope and I pray that I could, uh, could do it better the next time. Okay, God bless us all and have a nice day, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. I love you all. God bless us all.